Good afternoon, gentle friends. Welcome back to another day. I'm going to start my day today with some ahi tuna that I picked up yesterday at Kroger. So I have a four and a half ounce ahi tuna filet, and I'm going to coat that in some of the, this is um, homemade everything bagel seasoning. I just put it in a <laughs> in an Italian seasoning jar. So I'm going to roll it in that and then cook it in the air fryer 400 degrees for seven minutes. And I have some tzatziki that I made for Sandy when I took her the mackerel cakes. And she said she preferred tartar sauce. She wasn't a big fan of the tzatziki. So I brought that home. So I'll have that with my tuna. This is some of the Kroger stir-fry vegetable, like it's just the stir-fry veggie bag. I take the sauce out and either keep that for Sandy or throw that away, and I just use the veggies. So I'm going to steam up about a cup and a half of those. And then in my recent order, I had found some organic uh, dal. This is a yellow split pea, and this particular one is just your split peas, oil, tomato paste, cumin, garlic, chili peppers, mustard, and turmeric. I thought that sounded really good. Um, it is, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna start with a serving, I, I don't know, we'll see. But if I do a serving, which is two thirds of a cup, it's 120 calories and, what's that, 16 carbs that in your split peas. But I, like I've already tracked there's no carbs in the tuna. There's very few carbs in there and dinner doesn't have a whole lot of carbs either. So uh, depending on what the is like, I might have more of that and I'm sure I'll still be within my calculations for the day. So air fryer, steamed, zap that in the microwave, done. Hey guys, welcome back to another Frugal Finds Healthy Haul. So this week's little mini haul is from Kroger. The ad changes tomorrow, so I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and got the items that were on sale this week. So we have, they have their English cucumbers for 99 cents. And if you're not familiar with the difference between an English cucumber and a normal cucumber, those they call seedless. They're not, but they have far, far less seeds uh, and smaller seeds than a standard cucumber. They also don't tend to cause as much acid reflux in people who have problems with that. So those and their peppers, the orange, yellow, and red ones, were 99 cents this week. They had their nectarines and peaches for 97 cents a pound. And the big clamshells of the kiwi fruit, which kiwi fruit has gotten stupidly expensive, but they had the clamshells for... Uh, two ninety seven if you use their weekly digital deal. So I got one of those. Their berries, the blackberries and raspberries were two seventy seven on special, and their cheese, all of their big bags, shredded blends and blocks were a dollar ninety seven on weekly digital. Now I got a reduced fat Mexican blend and an Italian blend. Both of these are actually 90 calories for a quarter of a cup. So I got one of those. And then I think that was everything that was specific to the flyer that I wanted. I picked up a head of bib lettuce, the living lettuce, to do lettuce wraps, and I also got a container of the Power Greens blend that was on special. <clears throat> you guys have seen me do these before. The stir fry kits, really good way of just getting some already pre-cut up veggies to use in salads and things like that. I take the sauce kit out and just use the veggies and the family size packs, uh, they had one for $2.49. <clears throat> and then some of the Taylor Farm chopped kits were on sale. I like the sweet kale or the Asiago kale one. And so I got two of those. I topped up my bananas. They had some fresh herbs on special. 
some mushrooms on special. And then I went in for a couple of other things, but they are still out of stock. And I'm not going to go back before the ad changes, so unfortunately I just missed them. I did, however, find some ahi tuna that was $7.86. So I'm going to break those down, freeze them, and then I talked to Sandy yesterday when I dropped her off some lunch, and she said she likes ahi, so I'm going to do a meal with that for her. And then... I had found these, the big tiger shrimp when I was there last time. I hadn't seen them carrying them before, and I picked up some more. I got eight of those to do a meal with. They were really nice last time. And that's it. That is everything for this week's top up. The very nice farm that I get my duck eggs from <clears throat> messaged me this morning to say that her ducks had started laying again and did I want some eggs? And I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> so I went out to pick up, I buy 18 duck eggs at a time and I went out to go pick these up and she actually gave me a dozen bantam chicken eggs um, because she had, she said, I'm overrun. All my girls have started laying again. So I just wanted to show you the difference I'm going to use. This is probably the biggest duck egg. Okay, so that's the duck egg there. And then I'll just get one of these little bantams. So let's see if I can turn them. There you go. So there is a bantam chicken egg which calorically is a, a small egg and then the duck eggs so i've just picked these up welcome back for dinner all right so i am going to do a instant pot pot roast there are a couple of recipes that i'm combining in the description box that you can have a look at basically i have uh just over a two and a half pound roast and I'm going to add a pound of potatoes. I have 12 ounces of carrots. I'm going to do half an onion, a cup of peas, and then seasoning wise, I have onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and I'm going to use some of the umami, which is the, the sort of mushroom powder as my seasoning. Now I'm combining a couple of the recipe recommendations a lot of them just said Worcestershire sauce, which I have some of the Simple Truth Organic one. But the second recipe actually added some balsamic vinegar and tomato paste, which I thought sounded good. So I'm going to add those. And I'm going to cook that in just a couple of cups of beef broth. So that will basically all go into the Instant Pot. And I'm going to cook that for 60 minutes and then do a natural release. The general guideline that I was seeing was roughly 20 minutes per pound if you're using a thawed roast and 30 to 35 minutes per pound if you're using a frozen roast. So a lot of them said three pound roast, 60 minutes. That's not quite three pounds, but I don't think the extra time will make a difference because I do have a lot of vegetables in there. Now with that, I'm going to do a sweet kale salad with some extra bits. So I have the sweet kale chopped kit that I picked up. And to that, I'm going to add cucumber, tomato, blackberries, avocado, some baby corn. I have a couple of baby pickled beets. And if you saw my Vitacost order, I had found these artichoke hearts, which basically just have like white wine vinegar, garlic, black pepper, parsley, basil, rosemary. So they're just a flavored artichoke heart. They are 15 calories for two pieces. So I haven't opened them yet. I don't know what size they are, but uh, I had tracked like six pieces, I think, on the salad. And I'm, this is one of the few salads that I can use the dressing and the toppings that come in the bag. So I've tracked this not as just the veggies only, but as the, the full kit 
which in this particular case <clears throat> is 200 calories for a one cup serving with two tablespoons of dressing. Okay, that's everything. Okay, so in here I have the roast and then carrots, peas, potatoes, onion, one tablespoon each of Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and the umami powder. Then I'm going to add to that my little, uh, the liquid part of that, which is two cups of broth, quarter of a cup Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of the vinegar, two tablespoons of the tomato paste. I had to look at my table. I was like, what am I missing? And that's everything in there. So broth, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, and vinegar. And basically, I'm just going to put this in here. And then I know the instructions tell you to sear off the pot roast first. I've done it that way and I've done it without it. And in my personal opinion, for me, it doesn't taste any different if I sear it than if I don't. So I'm just going to pour that in there, put the whole thing on to cook, and that'll be it.